and welcome back. It's so good to see you. So, today we're going to be reading about some very important things. My son was looking through this book yesterday, and I was like, what is that? They have so many books, I don't even remember. I think he got this maybe, or maybe my daughter got it for Christmas like a long time ago. But this is an encyclopedia about a very important things. Very important things. So, I thought it would be kind of fun to look through it. I love little kid books and stuff like that. So, yeah. This is the very first, like, chapter. <laughs> it's very important things about my planet. And you can see the Earth is right here. And it looks like there's a sunflower and sun and clouds and other planets as well. And look, there's a little astronaut over there. My son said an astronaut uh, was at his school yesterday. They have a whole week of I don't know, space something where astronauts are going to be coming each day and teaching them different things about space, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get started and find out some very important things about our planet. Okay, right here is a big block, and there's something, I guess it's like a definition or something about the Earth. But it says, Earth is our amazing home. It's covered with lush forests, dry deserts, and big blue oceans. So big that Earth looks blue from space. And look, it does. Earth is the only planet that we know of where things can live. So it is a very special place. Yes that we know of, right? <laughs> oh, look at this. This looks like all kinds of other spacey things. Okay, it says our planet in space. Our planet, Earth, is in a group with seven other planets. This group is called the Solar System. I'm really mad <laughs> that they don't include Pluto, because my whole life Pluto was always a planet, but now apparently it's not. Whatever. <laughs> okay, what are planets? Planets are very big, round objects in space. Some are made of rock, and others are big balls of gas. Most of them orbit, travel around a star, which we would call the sun. And here it is, the sun. The sun is a star. Without its heat, no planets, oh sorry, no plants, animals, or people could survive on earth. That includes you. Let's see, it says huge rocks float between Mars and Jupiter in an area called asteroid belt. Interesting. Oh look, we live here. That's Earth. So there's Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. That's where they're going to be going to build civilizations, right? <laughs> uh, Jupiter. Look how big Jupiter is compared to Earth. Like, you think we would be able to see it see it better than, you know, just a tiny little dot, right? Look at that. Saturn. Neptune. Oh wait, no, this is Neptune. Sorry, this is Uranus. This one's Neptune. Let's see. The rings of Saturn are made of ice and dust. Hmm, interesting. Uranus is different to the other planets because it's spy. It spins on its side. It is different. All the planets spin as they move around the sun. This astronaut's talking, so is this one. 
As far as we know, Earth is the only planet anywhere where things live. Yeah, as far as we know. Well, I don't know about that. It would take years to reach the edge of the solar system. I mean, I think it would take more than years. solar system is so big even, the planets that seem close to each other are very far apart. Oh, and it shows how far apart they are, but look, all these guys, even though they seem close, they're far apart. Hmm. Very cool. Ah, uh, here we go. Learning about our Earth. Earth is our planet. Most of it is covered by oceans. The rest of the planet's surface is land. Let's see. The Earth takes 24 hours to make one spin. You know, I actually read an article that says that it actually takes a little less than 24 hours, but we round up. Like, it's 23 hours. I don't know, 23. 23 hours and you know like it's just like a fraction like it's maybe like five minutes off or something like that I don't know but we always just round it up I don't know I can't remember articles that I read but I know I read read something like that <laughs> where does the Sun go at night the earth is always spinning as it does, the sun shines on different parts of the planet. This is why we have days and nights. When the side of the earth you live on faces the sun, it's daytime. When the side of the earth you live on turns away from the sun, it's nighttime. Let's see, the earth takes a whole year to orbit, move around. The sun once. And look right there, there's the equator. Hmm. It says the equator is an imaginary line around the middle of the earth. Think of it like the earth is wearing an invisible belt. I like stor um, stories, I like pictures like this where you can see inside things, you know? Inside the Earth, there are three layers under the Earth's outer layer, the crust. But it's too hot for us to go there. That's like, I have a question, <laughs> as I always do. So we've never been there. We can't go there. Like, it's so hot that you can't actually send things down there. So to me, like, is this stuff theory? Like, how do they know what is, like, how do they know there's an inner core? How do they know that we can't go down there? So how do they know? I don't know. <laughs> What's inside? The mantle is almost solid rock. The outer core is liquid metals and minerals, and the inner core is solid metals and materials. How do they know? How do they know if we can't go there? The crust makes up all the land and the seafloor. If the earth were an apple, the crust would only be as thick as the skin. Isn't that crazy? The Earth is 4.5 billion years old. Also, how do they know that? How do they know? I'm sure some scientists will be like, well, because, blah, 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 blah. But it's like, but, you know, like, prove it. <laughs> okay, this one is long. Which way is space? If you could drive a car straight up, it would only take about an hour to reach space. Isn't that no 
hearts. Like that's that's crazy. On the way, you'd pass through five layers of air called the atmosphere. We has the exosphere, thermosphere, metosphere, stratosphere, and troposphere. Let's look at this from the Earth. Look, there we are, right there. This is the lower part of the atmosphere. All weather happens in this bottom layer. Look, there's a hot air balloon. <laughs> and there's an airplane. The airplane does not fly in this area. They fly in the stratosphere. Let's see. Oh gosh. Nacreous? Nacreous? I don't know. You know I'm terrible at that. Clouds. These beautiful clouds are very rare. Tell me more about this. I want to know more about these clouds. Hmm. I bet you it's somewhere in this encyclopedia. This area is home to the ozone layer, which helps protect us from the sun's rays. Jet planes fly above the clouds to avoid bumps caused by wind. So, airplanes fly in the ozone layer? That can't be right. This area to the home of the ozone layer. That seems like that would be dangerous. Maybe the ozone layer is like at the top and the plane's flying closer to the bottom? Let's just, let's, let's say that. Okay, let's see. Repels? Ripples? I don't know. Vulture can fly higher than any other bird. Hmm, that's interesting. And then we go to the metasphere. Brr. The air up here is freezing cold. The top of the metasphere is the coldest place in the world. Is it colder? Or maybe this is out of the world, so... Hmm. Meteors. Oh no. Meteors. Yikes. Okay, and then we have the thermosphere. This is where the International Space Station is. Okay. The space station is so big, you can sometimes see it from the ground? What? I've never seen a space station from the ground. Okay, it says, scientists say space starts here. This layer goes up really, really high above the Earth. Auroras. You can see the colorful aurora light show from places near the North and South Pole. And then, let's see, the exosphere. The top layer of the atmosphere doesn't end suddenly. It fades gradually further into space. That's interesting. Oh, here's a satellite. Satellites orbit the Earth all the way up here. They send signals to the world. Interesting. Let's see, is there any more space stuff? Oh, I think this is actually the last page. Spacey Earth stuff. Okay, look at this, pretty stars. Okay, this is about the night, or the sky at night. <laughs> the sky at night, that reminds me of like The Office, when Aaron has to go on like a scavenger hunt or something for Valentine's Day with Andy. And like, Gabe records this weird thing on a tape, and it's just like, the temp at night, the temp at night. That's what this reminded me of. <laughs> I don't know why. That's funny. Okay. The sky at night. If you look up on a clear evening, the sky can be full of twinkling lights, but not all of these are stars. Ooh. The moon is only visible because it reflects light from the sun. Isn't that crazy? Let's see, here's the satellite up here. Astronauts can stay 
at the International Space Station while they are in space. So it's like a space hotel for astronauts. <laughs> okay, let's see about this moon. The moon. There's nothing in the night sky that's easier to spot than the moon. Astronauts have walked on the moon. Their footprints will stay there for millions of years because there is no wind or weather there. That's interesting. How can there be no wind? Like, I, I get that there's no wind. But how can that be? Because, like, you know, asteroids and stuff, like, stuff is traveling, right? Stuff travels, okay? And the planets, like, rotate, and the moon orbits with us around the sun, right? So how is there not even the, how? How is there no, not even the slightest little wind at all? can that be? This thing is moving. Questions? Okay. Uh, faces of the moon. Have you ever wondered why the moon seems to change shape? It's because the sun's light hits the moon at different angles. As it moves around Earth, there are eight main phases. Okay. As it moves around Earth, this, the moon moves, it just says it moves around Earth. I thought that the, that we rotated. You know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe I'm confusing myself. But still, how is there no wind? I don't believe that. Okay, so the new moon, can't really see it at all. A waxing crescent. Those always remind me of like little thumbnails or something, you know? Then we have the first quarter, that's like a half moon, waxing gibbous, okay? Then we have the full moon, the waning gibbous, I don't, I don't know if that's saying gibbous, gibbous, whatever. And then we have the last quarter, which is another half moon, and then the waning crescent, which also looks like a little thumbnail. Okay, let's see what we have here. We have an aircraft. You see those all the time, right? Or they could be spaceships. You never know. <laughs> okay, and then we've got meteors. I've never seen a meteor. Never. Never. Never seen a shooting star. I always wanted to. We've got satellites. And then we have a comet. I've never seen a comet either. I've definitely seen stars. And I've seen planets. Then we have the moon. Let's see here. The moon is in the second phase. A waxing crescent. We've got searchlights. What's that? There's definitely something right there, but it's not saying anything. What is that? That's interesting. Eye to the sky. Telescopes tell us to see objects that are very far away, such as planets. I used to have one of these. I think I gave it to my sister or something. She did, She never used it, though. She just thought that it was cool, so she wanted it in her house. This encyclopedia has so much stuff about very important things. Like, we have stuff about planet, which we just did, space and earth and stuff like that, but they talk about waves and mountains, volcanoes, earthquakes, deserts, forest, water, how things grow, the changing seasons, weather, wind and the sun, very important things about places, the seven continents, very important things about animals you can learn about. Dinosaurs, fish, reptiles, bugs. I spy. Oh, on the form, so you can learn about forms.
arms, mountains, blue whale, sharks, primates, big cats, animals after dark. Oh. You can learn about people. Ooh, very early humans. Like, look at all this stuff we can learn about. I mean, I know it's for kids, but I think this stuff is interesting. You know? Very cool. Things you can learn about you. You can learn about the human body, your blood, food, how we communicate, music. How cool is this? Oh, look, it says, here are some other very important things. Saying hello and goodbye, I guess in different languages. Colors, shapes, fruit, vegetables, measurements, star signs, Chinese horoscopes, precious gems. You can learn about clouds, instruments, vehicles eggs, animal babies, the flags, the top 10 countries, world, animal, like all kinds of stuff, all kinds of fun things. Let me know if you want to learn about any of these things. Maybe we can make it a little, a little series or something, start a playlist. I thought this was very interesting. Anyway, I really hope that you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon.